In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to streamline your communication and increase productivity using Microsoft Teams workflows. Whether you're a seasoned Teams user or just starting out, this tutorial will offer you a comprehensive overview of setting up automated tasks, ensuring that your emails and messages are managed efficiently. Let's dive right in. First things first, open up your favorite web browser and head over to Microsoft Teams. Sign in using your credentials, ensuring you're in the right account where you want these workflows to be set up. If you haven't yet explored the full potential of Microsoft Teams, you're in for a treat, as the platform is packed with features designed to simplify collaboration and task management. Once you've logged in, direct your attention to the left-hand menu panel and click on Chat. This is where all your communications are stored, a hub of both past and ongoing conversations. Selecting Chat opens up a list of all your past interactions. Here you can choose a particular chat group or individual person you'd like to work with. This selection will be the basis for setting up your new workflow so choose wisely based on where you frequently collaborate or manage tasks. Now look towards the top right corner of the screen. Here you'll find three small dots. This represents the More Options menu, a crucial feature that gives you access to a variety of actions and preferences not immediately visible on the main interface. Click these three dots to reveal a drop-down list. From this drop-down, select Workflows. This option is a gateway to automating how your teams, channels, and communications function. In the Workflows window, find and select Post a Channel Message Every Day of Received Outlook Emails and Teams Posts. This specific workflow ensures that important communications don't get lost in the hectic flow of a busy day. It's particularly useful if your role heavily relies on timely updates and actionable insights derived from emails and posts. Once you've made your selection, you'll be prompted to the name your workflow. Be, be descriptive yet concise with this, summarizing its purpose or the group it's intended for to avoid any future confusion. After entering a name, click Next to proceed to the final steps of the setup. You'll now see fields where you need to fill in additional required information. This might include details on how the workflow will run and specific times or other preferences that tailor the automation to your needs. Carefully input this information and once satisfied, click Add Workflow. This saves your settings and prepares everything to go live. To wrap things up, simply hit the Done button. Congratulations, you've now successfully set up a workflow within Microsoft Teams. This simple but powerful automation will help keep your team on track and ensure that nothing important slips through the cracks. Thank you for watching, and I hope this guide helps enhance your productivity with Microsoft Teams.